This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Good morning, Heartline, and thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Alice Soroka. And I'm Troy Moling. Well, today is a Monday, June 2nd, the 153rd day of the year, which means 212 days remaining until the end of the year. So obviously there is something different this morning, if you're tuning in right now, we do have a new co-host on Good Morning Heartland. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I heard you were getting a new co-host. It's yeah, me, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it is you. Excellent. All right. You, uh, you passed everything. We did an obstacle course for you. Yeah. We did a physical. Uh, we did a times table uh, rundown, see how fast you know your times tables, you know, under three minutes. Yeah, was, they were uh, just under the mark at yeah. uh, 258. Yeah, so it was yeah. close. I mean, we didn't even test you on, on any weather stuff. So do you know stuff about weather? Oh, it's a weather job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll figure it out okay. uh, as soon as we can, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Troy Moling. He is our new co-host for Good Morning Heartland. We searched high and low, and finally, after literally six months since Scott Kellum has been gone, mm -hmm. we finally found his replacement. I think you have, like, the same size shoe as him, so you're good to go. Yeah, well, good. If, uh, if I need some new ones, I'll, I'll hit him up then. There you Excellent. go. All right. So uh, we'll get to know you a little bit better in the Definitely. 6 o'clock hour. Is that sure. good? Hey, sounds All right. great. In the meantime, are you ready for our random tip of the day? Uh, yeah, let's let's have it. Okay, so you you just moved here, you know, obviously. Been here a little over a week. Yeah. So did you did you buy new like bedding, like new pillows and stuff? Or? I did. Yeah. Kelly's Furniture, great place to go. Oh. Got a new mattress there uh, on Memorial Day. Their big Memorial Day sale. Uh, so. so you took advantage of that. Yeah, I, 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 more than a mattress. <laughs> good they hook you every it, time yeah all right so well this is for people that maybe have some like older pillows that are going a little flat uh -huh. stick it into uh the dryer put some tennis balls in there and okay. it'll revitalize them and make them fluffy again excellent you all like right. it hey sure then uh, just go to the courts after and bat the pillow around there <laughs> There you go. I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some weather. What can we expect for today? All right, excellent. Let's take a look at the day planner right now. It's uh, If you're heading out uh, on a morning run this morning, maybe if, uh, if you're heading off to work, 67 degrees for the uh, temperature at 7 a.m. By noon, 76 degrees. By 5 p.m., 83 degrees with some afternoon showers. Back to you, Ella. Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Severe weather rips through Hillsborough County, Florida. The National Weather Service says an EF-0 tornado touched down in the Riverview area. The storm damaged homes, shredded fences, and knocked down trees. Emergency officials say no one was hurt. Back closer to home, we're... Going to be having a few showers off and on throughout the day today, mainly toward this afternoon, but currently 65 degrees in Kirksville. Wind out of the west about 8 miles per hour. Humidity, look at that, 97% humidity. Not getting much better humidity-wise. Up in Ottumwa, 97% humidity, uh, 65 degrees. Currently winds out of the west-northwest at 6 miles per hour. Well, some of the heartland highs throughout the day looking to be in the 80s all across the board. We're going to have some of those storms. It's going to be breezy. Wind gusts over 20 miles per hour at some points during the day. Uh, 84 in Sigourney. Mount Pleasant living up to its name today at 85 degrees. Unionville at 84 for their high today. Futurecast is showing that we're going to have some storms moving on through the area. Now, like I said, that's going to be mainly toward this afternoon. See, check this out. By Monday, about 2 o'clock, we're going to have some storms in the very southeast portion of the viewing area, right around Macon. Now, that's not to say we could have some more pop-up thunderstorms throughout the day, but they're really going to be scattered and isolated. By Monday, by this evening, they're going to be uh, moving out for the most part. Then, as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, again, right along the southern portion of the viewing area, we're going to have some storms moving in as well. This is what I want you to pay attention to right here. Wednesday morning, by, we get, by the time we get to about 2 a.m., probably 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. range is where we're going to see the brunt of these storms moving through the area. Check this out. Right uh, centered right around Milan right now, we've got a big pocket of, uh, of storms. Now, nothing, we're not in a severe uh, watch or warning that's not uh, we're not seeing that right now but it's gonna be it's all around us so it's possible that could happen we'll definitely 
keep you informed of that if it does happen. Moving closer to it Wednesday at 5 o'clock, those storms have moved through Mile and moved through Kirksville. They're on the eastern portion right along the Illinois line by that time. And we're going to have continue to have some storms throughout the day uh, on a Tuesday into Wednesday as well. So the high for Monday, 83 degrees, warm temperatures, a little bit above average for what we should be for this time of year. Maybe about a quarter inch of rain when it's all said and done. Now, when we're having those storms late Tuesday into Wednesday, could have storm, uh, 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 storm totals about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch closer to the Iowa line. So 83 for the high today, overnight low tonight, 64 degrees, skies clearing, still going to be above average. So as far as rain today, I don't think it's that big of a concern, just hit or miss showers, not really enough to disturb any outdoor plans from what I'm seeing. Winds from the south southwest about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Well, five day forecast looking pretty good for the end of the week anyway. We are going to have some uh, 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 highs in the 80s for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 83 on Monday and Tuesday. There's those storms late. We're getting about an 80% chance. Uh, could be closer to 90% when it's all said and done. Thursday and Friday, 75 for the high on Thursday, 75 for the high on Friday, and Thursday and Friday are really, really looking great, uh, especially on Friday. Back to where we should be normal for this time of year, and overnight lows in the 60s and back to normal by the end of this week. Ella. Yeah, so temperatures are going down, which is fine. We can't complain about that. I know that a couple of days it's been in the upper 80s, so some people were complaining, you know, that it was a little too warm. So 75 yeah, we, is Yeah, we have been above average. About yeah. 75 is where we should be for this yeah. time of year. So that's what it's going to be looking like toward the end of the week, and the weekend's looking great, too. All right, thanks for that. You got it. We'll be right back. This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Joining us this morning, I'm Alice Soroka. And I'm Troy Molin. Well, today is Monday, June 2nd, and as you can see, something is a little different. I have a new co-host for the morning show. How this are you doing? Guy, doing well. Yeah. How are you? I'm pretty good. You have some big shoes to fill. I mean, when I say big yeah. shoes, Samantha and I wear the same shoe size, so you have heels that big. <laughs> Literally, I'm, I'm related to Sasquatch, yeah. actually. <laughs> you, I so. think you are. But I'm telling you that these are kind of high and kind of big to fill. So I hope you're... I don't wear them that high, but um, these are working out for me so far. <laughs> That's so, good. There we go. So Troy Moline is our new co-host for The Morning Show. When Scott left, we were in search of a new co-host, and we brought in Samantha as a temporary co-host. She is now our new morning uh, feature reporter, so she's out on the streets. In fact, she's on her way to her live location, and we'll check in with her in about 20 mm -hmm. minutes. But in the meantime, we are now stuck with this guy. This guy. Yeah. This guy. So really quickly... You know, I kind of feel bad because I don't really know anything about you. You should feel bad. I do. Are you crying yourself to sleep every kind night? Kind of. Good. I Good. am. So yeah. all I know is that you're a meteorologist. Yeah. Your name is Troy. Yeah. Um, you have a dog. I do. My dog, Bren. She's great. Uh -huh. Came up to Kirksville with me. Uh, she's loving the backyard she's got. She's a uh, Can't complain about that. Yeah. And obviously, I, I hear a little southern accent, so you're from Memphis, Tennessee. I am. I, I like to say to people, I'm from the Memphis, eight hours away, not the one that's like 45 minutes yes, to an yes. hour away. <laughs> so, yeah, born and raised in Memphis, uh, made the drive up a uh, week ago Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, it's great to be here, enjoying the town. I had a Casey's Pizza this weekend. Is it good? It was good. I liked it. Which one did you get? I got the all meats. Okay, okay, all right. You should try their taco one. It's all right, really good. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on the list. I'll yes. file it away. All right. Well, welcome aboard. We're excited thank you. to have thank you. you. Thank so you, thank you. Good to be here. Good hopefully to be here. you can handle me is all I can say is because I can get a little, a little tough sometimes. Okay. So, well, uh, are you ready? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, I know I was kind of sizing you up earlier, and I think my guns are a little bigger, so. Well, hey, sun's out, gun's out. That's all I can say. <laughs> All right. Do you want to take a quick look back at history? Yeah. What's what's going on as far as history is okay. concerned? On this day in 1935, Babe Ruth, one of the greatest players in the history of baseball, ends his major league playing career after 22 seasons, 10 World Series, and 714 home runs. Ruth made his major league debut as a left-handed pitcher with the Red
Red Sox in July of 1914 and pitched 89 winning games for the team before 1920 when he was traded to the New York Yankees. After Ruth left Boston in what became known as the Curse of the Bambino, the Red Sox didn't win another World Series until 2004. In New York, Ruth's primary position changed to outfielder, and he led the Yankees to seven American League pennants and four World Series victories. He was a huge star in New York and attracted so many fans that the team was able to open a new stadium in 1923, and they dubbed it the house that Ruth built. A year after he retired, he was one of the first five players inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame, and he died of throat cancer at the age of 53 on August 16th of 1948 in New York City, and his body was on display at Yankee Stadium for two days and was visited by more than 100,000 fans all across the U.S. came to visit him and pay tribute. And this is actually a shot of his memorial service at Yankee Stadium. Hey, from what they say, he was a great player. Do, do you know his real name? No, I don't. George, I believe. Well, George Herman Ruth. Look at I you. Think. Yeah. You're going to start quizzing me now. King of useless information. Hey, do, you know, do you know who played him in the movie? No. John Goodman. Oh, yeah. come on. All right. Don't worry, nobody saw it. Okay, so. okay. Let's go ahead and talk about some weather before yeah, you definitely. really... Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll quiz you on some of the current temperatures that we've got across the area right now. 65 in Kirksville, 65 in Ottumwa, uh, 74 in Mount Pleasant, and Milan at 65 degrees at this hour. Ella, back to you. This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Ella Soroka. And I'm Troy Molin. Well, today is Monday, June 2nd. And if you're just tuning in, as you can see, something is a little different. Samantha Croy got a little taller. She cut her hair, a little deeper voice, a little southern accent. And we changed her name to Troy Moline. How are you doing? Doing fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for being on board. He is our new co-host uh, of Good Morning Heartland. He is a meteorologist. He is from Memphis, Tennessee. Yep. You have a dog. I do. We know that you can run three miles. Sometimes four. Sometimes four. And that's pretty much all I know about you. You're an only child. I am. Yes. I'm an only child. Both my parents are only children. My entire family is just my parents. And they're, uh, they're back in Memphis. They're in a suburb. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, I think they're going to come up to visit here in a yeah. couple of months or something. They'll they 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 get down with you. Right, right, right. right. They, uh, they, they uh, came to Kirksville, helped me get settled, mm -hmm. uh, helped me uh, take the truck up. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Happy to have him. Yes. All the all the help was needed. Yes, that's you didn't, what you didn't swing you didn't swing by and help. No, I did we not. We could have needed we could have used extra people help yeah. help unload. See boxes, the problem but. is with me when I try to help out. I become more of like a distraction of anything, especially if we're unpacking. Oh, because I'd be that, like that, going through the box and be like, what is this? That work, works out oh, nicely cool, for everyone. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take well, that. No, you would have been unloading boxes, but like there were bed frames and 200-pound oh. televisions that you could have moved in. So that would have... Oh, sorry. Are you saying I'm strong? Because I've been working out. I, I can tell. Yeah. What did I say earlier? Sun's out, guns out. Yes. I mean, you are uh, yeah. taking that to heart for sure. And what sure. I mean workout is I go to the gym every day. Uh-huh. <clears throat> then I walk around for about 30, 45 minutes. Okay. And then I'm like, <laughs> it's been long enough. Tell Matt, hey, I went to the gym today. And then I go home, prop my feet up, get uh -huh. some Oreos and milk, and then watch some TV. I was I was about to ask how much you could bench, but I guess that's <laughs> out of the, I guess that's out of the question. Yeah, two packages of Oreos. Okay, there we go. awesome. Yeah. So, well, welcome aboard. Thank you. Good to be here. Heartland so far. Oh, it's great. It was awesome. I had a is I had a little kid come to come to mow my yard last week. His name's Hunter. He knocks on the door. Says, "Hey, I'll mow your yard for you." I said, "All right." What? Have, he said, twenty bucks front and back." I said, "Go for it." So yes. <laughs> nice. he was on his riding mower. It took him about what? Not even ten minutes. So, 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 bucks, front and back. Man, so I'm in the wrong business. Yeah, he, uh, he says he has about, I think he and his dad, they have about 50 yards across the area that they Wow, that they good do. for him. Yeah, good I know, right? Him. Yeah. All right, well, would you like to know what our national day is? I've been wanting to know all morning, you won't tell me. <laughs> it is national leave the office early day. Nah. So, I think we're already, <laughs> yeah, that's fine, okay. <laughs> See you later, yeah. I can do the weather, I really. can't, yeah, I know, I know, because... I need to stay because actually I don't want to get fired yeah. on the. I, uh, I ha first day. I've had so many co-hosts come and go that I'm, I'm I'm starting to think that it it there's something wrong with. The this meeting. is the longest you've had a co-host stay. Yeah, 
so far, yeah. A little over an hour. Yeah, so, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how long I can keep you around, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So, how, so is there a, I think just everybody gets sick of me, to be honest with you. So it's National Leave the Office Early Day. Yeah. Okay. You'd think they would say that for a Friday, but... you think so, but after this morning's start with everything going wrong with technical <laughs> difficulties, I think everybody in our station right now is ready to go home yeah, early. Sure, so, definitely, but, definitely. Yeah, sure, definitely, definitely. If you can leave early today, go ahead. If yeah, not... Yeah, go for it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to tease I think you. in Canada they observe it tomorrow, so you can do the Canadian uh, <laughs> version of the holiday like and leave it. early tomorrow, too. I like so. it. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about some weather for those yes, that are heading yes, outdoors. Yes, yes. Uh, ch uh, checking out the day planner right now by 7 a.m. As soon as the show's over, uh, maybe you're heading out to work, heading on a morning run, 67 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Skies are clearing throughout the afternoon, 76 by the lunch hour, 83 by the commute home with some afternoon showers. We'll have more coming up in the full forecast, but for now, back to you, Ella. And finally, it's now time for our viral video of the day. And being in a relationship can be tough, but when you're five years old, it can be really rough. Mm -hmm. Take it from this guy. Take a look. You can't have three girlfriends? No. Why? I, I, I could have two. It's like, I don't want three. Does it stress you out having that many girlfriends? Yeah. It's like I, I have to give them up. No, no, no. How are you going to decide to give up? I no, no. It's like they're all crazy. I have to give them up. No, oh, it's rough being five, isn't it? You can't have three girlfriends. You missed the tagline. It says when he said it's rough being five, and he said yes. I just wish I was four again. So this gentleman is five years old and already has three girlfriends, and three is one too many. So he has to give one up. He doesn't want to because he doesn't know which one because they're all pretty. Ah, to be a five-year-old again and have those kind of problems. Don't hate you know? the player, hate the game, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure if this was your kid, that's what you would tell him, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely, uh-huh. So I'm guessing you had like seven girlfriends then, right? Uh, well, when I was five, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't even count that high when I was five. Yeah, so. what, cooties? I, I can't count that high now, even. <laughs> cooties didn't matter back then, so you had all the girls. Yeah, that was, oh, that, was, that was before the cootie outbreak of Give me the daily 1997, forecast. so... Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Ella Soroka. And I'm Troy Moling. Your news will continue to KTO News at 5, but... You can check us out anytime at heartlandconnection.com, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook. And Twitter. You got it. We hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m.